Eric. Over the edge. Eric also appreciates a, a good beverage I now and then. Yes. yes. And Eric, it's good to point out as we toss it to you that beer does have carbs. Yes, for sure. Carbs. <laughs> Always responsibly, of course. But uh, you know what? Sunday's going to be a great right. day for enjoying uh, a couple of cold beverages for sure here as we get into the weekend. It's been a warm week. Tonight, a gorgeous night here at Babson College in Wellesley as everyone's been picking up their numbers. You got the music, the expo here. You can get your tires ready to go, the bike set up, everyone ready for Saturday morning when it all begins. Very long journey. In fact, both mornings have different kind of segments of the PMC starting here at Babson College, which is the nice thing about the events. If you don't feel like you want to start with a big one, you can do smaller mileage, kind of work it up over the years. Certainly a good way to go. And uh, let's take a look at what the weather's going to look like as we head into the weekend. So out there tonight, We've got a couple of showers and storms that have moved into New Hampshire, but we're drying out. Tomorrow, some isolated strong storms. We're mainly watching midday into the early evening, and that will usher in some much drier, slightly cooler air for Sunday. It should be a beautiful second half of the weekend before the next storm system approaches on Monday to start next week. So let's look at some of your coming attractions. Now let's take a look at some of the details here. Tonight, those showers from earlier have raced their way off to the north and east up toward Rochester, New Hampshire. Portsmouth might get a quick sprinkle, but we're dry here in southern New England, and it will remain dry for the rest of the evening. Temperatures in the 70s to around 80. Muggy night. Dew points are still way up in the 60s, and that's where they'll be during the day tomorrow. So if you are going to be out and about, definitely expect that humid air to continue. We look to the west. Big dip of a fall preview air mass there. Chicago, Indianapolis, Detroit, Green Bay, all in the 60s. That's going to take over the whole middle of the country over the course of the weekend. For us tonight, though, we stay warm. Upper 60s, some patchy fog and some low cloud cover. And for anyone riding tomorrow morning, there should be some low cloud cover around to start the day. So you don't have to bake in the hot sun. It'll be mild. It will be muggy outside. But there should be some clouds to start. Then we break in some sunshine. There it gets hot. And that fuels some of our storms. Midday to the early evening. I think the highest likelihood of a strong storm will be near and north of the pipe. So especially into central northern Mass in New Hampshire, that's where the strongest storm should reside, a lower chance in southeastern Mass. And then we all clear out and dry out as we head into tomorrow evening. So Saturday night plans look to be in good shape. Good news on that front. Sunday, we're into full sunshine. Should be a beautiful second half of the weekend. Just some cirrus moving in in the afternoon, and that can make for a pretty nice sunset. So the Pan Mass Challenge focusing in. I think, again, best chance of rain is after many of the riders are done. It will be humid outside, and that's probably our biggest factor. Sunday, just gorgeous. A west breeze, which is nice along the lengthwise portion of the Cape. Once you pass the elbow, it's going to be a cross breeze around 6A. So again tomorrow, some gusty south winds out of the south-southeast. Temps in the low 80s. Tomorrow night we dry out. Sunday is where we look at the best weather of the weekend. And some spots will even hit the mid-50s on Saturday night before that refreshing air mass really takes up residence on Sunday. Uh, for the Cape and the Islands, a lower chance of rain on Saturday. Sunday brings in the sunnier conditions and uh, temperatures in the upper 70s expected there. Lakes region, a stronger chance of storms for tomorrow. So this is where the strongest of the day should reside. So if you're out on Winnipesaukee, keep an eye to the sky. We get a payoff on Sunday. Let's take a look at the seven-day outlook. And uh, Monday is when we have our next chance of heavy rainfall moving in, especially as we move toward the afternoon and the evening. We dry back out on Tuesday in the middle of next week. Looks great. So that's how we're shaping up out here. At Babson College in Wellesley should be a nice evening. And we'll be back again at 7 o'clock talking about uh, some great stories here. We'll take a look at the forecast for our special broadcast here on WBC. David and Lisa, back to you.